okay, well, it's only been a day or so since we put the Easter breeze up, uh, but it'd be worthwhile going out and uh, we'll have a look. It's a, a, a some reasonable wind out there at the moment. Go and have a look and see what type of performance we're getting at this very early stage. Uh, and then uh, we can then uh, track that over the coming days and weeks. Before we get on to do that, I want to cover one aspect that I'm asked about uh, uh, re relatively regularly at people who are interested in turbines, which is, you know, what, at what wind speed does my wind turbine start producing uh, usable voltage and, and current and power? And that's quite simple. Most wind turbines don't produce anything as an output between zero and three to three and a half meters per second. Now, as they start to get to three and a half, you'll start to see some voltage come up, but there won't be any usable power. Usable power. And so what uh, uh, you're waiting for is what the manufacturers call the cut-in wind speed. That's the wind speed at which you start to get to, the, in my case, the 24 volt required, and you start producing some power. So if we take a quick look at the Easter Breeze State Happily Producer and Manufacturer's Performance Chart, you'll see on that chart that the, uh, uh, the cutting wind speed is three meters per second. So it's showing something should be producing at three. And from that point on, you then start producing power. Now the ratio of power is not linear to wind speed. Uh, doubling the wind speed will give you an eightfold increase in power. So, uh, you know, clearly with wind turbines, the higher the wind speed, the greater multiple of, of output of power you'll get. So it's really important to know wind, wind turbines can look like they, they're running, they're turning around, and they can often look quite fast, but they're not really producing anything. So we need to see three to three and a half meters per second. That's about seven miles per hour. It's about Beaufort scale two, if you're a sailor like me. Uh, it's called a light breeze. You know, so you, you'll feel a little bit of wind in your face. So this is not strong wind. This is the type of wind you might expect in, in open fields most of the, the time through the fall, through winter, through spring. So let's have a quick look at how the Easter breeze is performing now. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the uh, Easter breeze. Uh, obviously, you're not going to see on the video. I think the frame rate might not capture. It looks like it's just spinning very slowly. In reality, it's spinning quite fast. You can tell better with the weather station. Uh, a good rule of thumb is if you can see the cup spinning individually, you're not generating anything. Uh, but let's have a quick look. We can have a quick look on the uh, system. So. We can see here on the weather station that we're currently seeing an average of about 2.9 meters per second. So that's cut, that's cut in speed. So at the moment, uh, I wouldn't be expecting to generate anything. Um, I'm going to take some screenshots of the, uh, the Victron system so we can actually see what it's actually doing in real life. But um, let's have a quick look now. So we can see we're varying between about uh, 3 and 5.6 uh, and at 5.6 you'll see I just captured a screenshot it's been it's doing somewhere between 150 and 200 watts uh, obviously we're getting gusts uh, and so you're not getting you're not getting an instantaneous results here you're getting the average over a I think it might even be a 30 second period uh, but you can see we should be generating power at this wind speed uh, so one meter per second above the cut-in. Let's take a quick uh, few shots more of the uh, output on the Victron system and that'll give us an idea. Right, just looking at the data on the uh, system, uh, the period of time that we were looking at was around about here. And so we were just catching the back end of this around about uh, six meters per second, gusts up to six and a half and then it's dropped down through to about four and now down to about just over three. So you can see, you know, this is why we're now in the, well, basically tick over. We're just above the cutting speed, which is why we're getting a small amount of power. But uh, you can see the difference between when we were up here, around about five to six meters per second, we were achieving well, values around between 150 and 200 and now we're down back at a very low rate of takeover. I mean, the wind has gone. Um, but anyway, that wasn't to do a full analysis of the performance. That was just to show that the InstaBreeze is up and running. We'll now take measurements over the coming weeks 
and we'll see what sort of performance data we get.